Welcome back. During this season of holiday cheer, it would be understandable if Richard Heron took a pass. His disabilities are severe. News 8 photographer Arnold Payne met Richard driving down a Fort Worth street in his wheelchair. This morning, Heron shows us what the spirit of the season is all about. Here's Channel 8's Gary Reeves. Michael Heron is just 10, growing up with only one parent at home. But for him, one is enough. The most fun that I had in my life to bond with my dad because he just makes my life just better, makes it easier. How you doing? And like many of the parents at Fort Worth's J.T. Stevens Elementary School, Mike's dad insists on driving his son to school. But Richard Heron can't drive a car. So with help from his trusty service dog, Troy Aikman, he loads up his son, and they're off. My dad's uh, wheelchair goes seven miles an hour. Thank you for another day. The most kids that ask me the question is, how did that happen to your dad? I keep on telling them, you know, he was born that way. Born with cerebral palsy, Richard Heron struggles to do almost everything, including talk. That's so good. You have the permanent to prove the fact that you can be independent. And that's been a lifelong struggle. He spent his youth in institutions for the mentally retarded. But you're not retarded. Uh, no. You were in a nursing home. Yes. Yeah. But you're not old. Huh? No. <laughs> he can laugh now, but it wasn't so funny through the years he fought the system to prove he could live on his own. And now he's the divorced father of three, just trying to be a normal dad. Oh, and I still make it! My job is to teach him how to live, how to, to survive. How to be a man. Amen. That's so good. Today. Hi, Miss Lavitz. Good morning. 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 It's amazing and it just completely blows our mind what he accomplishes. Thank you. Have a good day now. Hey, hey, have a good day. All right, you too. My dad doesn't worry about his faults. He just worries about what he did. Richard uses every available resource to live on his own, from the service that helps him make phone calls, I want you to have a good day. I want you to have a good day. Thanks, you too. To the tutor who's helping him study. They're talking about penance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you about the free thing. He's already an ordained minister with a bachelor's degree. He's working on his master's. The church played alternately. His goal, to be a youth evangelist. I'm going to go back in the ministry full time. Over time, he gets easier to understand and hard not to like. Hey, you not one up to me. Well, you are kind of cute. <laughs> no. He credits God for his strength. For hands and legs, there's Troy Aikman. This dog is able to give me a love like no other human being, I can hold him like this. I can cry. And he can love. Richard's first marriage lasted 14 yeah. years. Now he's met a new woman online. You made me happy, but you calling me. I'm glad it made your day. <laughs> it did. 
She's from a small town in Tennessee. They've never met in person, but that doesn't seem to matter. I love you. Love you too. Bye. And even though my body is broken, I'm still able to be a man with my mind, my heart. Online, Richard also studies theology. That's where he found the poem that he says explains his determination. When God wants to mold a man to play the noblest part, how God uses whom he chooses and with mighty power infuses him, God knows what he is about. For months, Richard's been planning to meet his new love for Thanksgiving. But first, a trip to the mall. Well, what can we do for you today, sir? You need to treat yourself or get a gift for somebody? Yes, I want to buy a, a real band. The actual wedding band goes closest to her heart. And a 14 carry. Yes, sir, 14 carry. She'll be ecstatic and she'll be hugging him around the neck before you know her. We're going to do all three of these for $4.99. <laughs> Makes you very happy. Yeah. It's a deal? Yeah. And then Richard repaid their kindness with a prayer. It's so kind. So good. Oh God, but the man they treat me like I'm a normal person. For a man just trying to be normal, Richard's life is a lesson for others who think they really are. He's a very loving, caring dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, In spite of his limitations, Richard understands just how blessed he is to have a dog like Troy, a son like Michael, and to find love again. And he knows who to thank, the man upstairs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gary Reeves, Channel 8 News.